Hello, um, welcome to uh, Tuesday, March 21st uh, meeting. Um, uh, my name is Veronica Lopez and I am tech lead for Seek Release. Uh, excuse my camera. <laughs> um, well, just want to remind you that um, this meeting is being recorded and uh, please be nice because uh, the Kubernetes Code of Conduct uh, um, rules all of these meetings and yeah so let's get started uh, i saw that we don't have any agenda but i know that cc wants to share um some thoughts yeah. <coughs> sorry i was adding the agenda <coughs> so uh just to give a brief uh, background um today is our scheduled rc card for uh, v127 and we currently have two release blockers <coughs> i just uh, pasted the link here um it seems like a regression on the Windows nodes currently, uh, which blocked our RC card now. And also we have another issue, which is the um, CI regex uh, fix uh, for missing um, IC zero tags. Um, I'm not sure if we talked about it earlier, but that seems also a blocker for fix. Let me uh, briefly edit it here. <coughs> So um, I'm not sure if there is any decision made for this, but basically, um, one second, let me paste some link here. Um, oh, I, I see that Marco already uh, posted the notes. Um, thank you, Marco. Uh, if anyone would like to take notes, that'd be great. I can try. <laughs> Thank you. So in meanwhile, I can tell uh, two, two or three words about the uh, regex issue because I have been in some discussions around it. Uh, so uh, the PR that was related to CREL was merged. Uh, thanks to Sasha for taking care of it and creating the PR. Uh, that part is fixed, but we discovered that there is some issues with KK. Uh, some jobs are using uh, also wrong regex, and those are being fixed as we are speaking. I think that uh, Jordan Liggett is working on that, and there is already a PR. I think that uh, it should be much sooner. I don't know. Let me try to find the issue. <laughs> Might be close, but yeah, it got closed. Yeah, I, I, I want the issue and chat. Here, it, here it is. I will also, I will also put it. Yeah. Nice. I think like there is a hot fix needed to be merged, which I pasted the link into the meeting notes. Um, this one is uh. <laughs> this one is the fix in the KK side because the <coughs> release.sh, I think, file. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I, I um, <coughs> Basically, we, we need to get this fix merged into master and uh, do a like a um, kubekin image build to get it uh, like applied to all the release branches. Things like uh, uh, this somehow get put to all the um, uh, Jenkins um, jobs. Um, if anyone could quickly take a look and uh, merge this, that will be great. Okay, I can take a yeah. look. All right, Marco. <laughs> yeah, I can also. We'll take care of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. I'll, just, I'll also paste it the link into the chat. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I guess. Uh... Um, I, I just want to confirm. So we currently have two release blocker for the 127. So um, I'll just hold the RC card until the uh, blocker was removed. So uh, basically the RC card will be delayed um, for uh, 13 days, basically. Yeah, um, I'll send out the, um, uh, at least uh, announce to the release team, uh, let them know. Yeah, but I did. I don't plan to send out like announce to like a bigger group. Yeah, so just yeah. Uh, how many days? 
not sure how many days because uh, we're still working on the um, release blocker issue. I pasted the link there. Um, <laughs> it's a regression happening on the um, Windows nodes, I think Windows cluster, yeah. Yeah. Um, not sure like how long it needs to be fixed, but I think a PR has raised. I'm not sure if that's enough to solve this um, <coughs> issue or not, though. I just started looking at it this morning, so haven't got the fully understanding on if it, it will be solved on the raised PR. Okay, sounds good. Uh, thank you, Cece, for all the context, and we'll definitely take a look. Um, does anyone else have any? Yeah, I would just like to point out uh, since this is here as well, just give me a second. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I created a PR uh, to fix some release job generation. Uh, this is perhaps something we want to merge uh, before cutting jobs for 127. So, uh, something to keep in mind. I will try to get it merged today. I had to change some uh, cron schedules and stuff like that because we tried to add that stable for version marker a while ago, but sadly I never picked up on this to fix job generation and I think this should actually fix it finally and like it make, uh, how is it, uh, generate release jobs or something like that, prepare release branch actually. It is going to like create everything and basically get a PR that we can just merge without having to fiddle too much with it. This is the end goal, and let's hope that it, it will work that way uh, this time. Thank you so much for the update. I'll make sure I check um, this PR merged before <coughs> I create the um, post branch um, jobs and everything. Thank you. No problem. I will keep you updated, and I will try with folks to get it merged as soon as possible, like today. All right. Uh, does anyone else have any other topic for discussion? Yeah, this is great. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say, but we can discuss this in uh, Slack, that I have noticed that when I have cut releases in the past, uh, either patch releases or the main releases, um, for a year, and a half now <laughs> every time I try to make sure that there are no uh, modifications in the promo tools because I know that there are at least two separate like sets or subsets of teammates uh, uh, that that are working on on the promo tools like on one hand we have all the SIG infra work that they have been doing a great job and on the other hand, uh, the release manager is in specifically Puerco. <laughs> and so when, when we caught a release, um, I try to make sure that uh, there is no pending work on either side, uh, because sometimes uh, people are working on, on, on their task and they're, they're very focused in it, but like without uh, keeping in mind like uh, the deadlines for the release cuts, et cetera. So I just wanted to uh, to ask people who uh, end up cutting a release to to double check um, if there are any any work, if there is any work uh, being done uh, in the release tools in general, but specifically for the promo tools, um, because uh, there, there has been a lot of work uh, going on for the past few months. And I mean, that's great. Uh, but also, um, we also got a bit of feedback <laughs> by uh, one of the uh, Google um, admins. I forget his name, I'm, I'm sorry. But uh, basically, when when we caught release uh, uh, patches, patch releases, sorry, um, and and whoever and gets to to be in charge of that double checks for availability of the Google Bill admins, and sometimes they are well, many times they are available, but we end up delaying everything because um, something in our in our process 
um, gets delayed and it's no one's fault, but it's just uh, good to keep in mind. And yeah, so so basically we got the feedback that <laughs> why don't we start the process a day earlier so that when the, the release date, uh, the Google build admins just have to uh, to do their, their their work, right? I think that's a good proposal. I mean, uh, I, I I think also that we would need more quorum to discuss that or offline. Uh, but it's just I, I just wanted to leave a note uh, to not uh, let that pass. Um, and that's it. Uh, yeah. So I, I think in the past we've we've discussed something of a um, tool tooling freeze during the release cycles, um, a point at which we're not going to make any changes um, to those tools. And I think it, you know, to your point, it is very hard to nail down exactly who is doing what at what time and what is, I, I think, you know, for for the promo tools, it's a little, I, I think it's a little easier because a promo tools uh, change will not go into effect unless you've promoted it through the, you know, you've promoted it through all of the jobs. And, and, so like we can continue making we can continue making changes to the promo tools, but there needs to be an ex expectation that the changes that you make to the promo tools um, will not necessarily be rolled out right before release, unless we've decided as the various teams to do so. Right. So that's that's one component of it. Um, I think with you know with um, with uh, dot zero releases, GA releases, um, we have we have tried to like precede a, a bunch of the release um, stuff. I think, you know, when we're actually cranking the wheel for the dot zero, there are some things that we'll try to we'll, we'll try to get started early. And and I and you know to the to the Google build admin point, um the I think in general, um it's hard to know what you don't know. I think you can plan for like a lot of the different scenarios that are going to go wrong. Um and I think every release we we manage to find a new one, right? So it, so I don't think it's um you know and 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 maybe it's as simple as like making sure that we're checking for availability, right? And and like if checking for availability is, I'm pretty sure it's part of our checklist for running releases. Um, and if it's not, it should be. Um, but I'm it is pretty it is. sure it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so what it comes down to is, I, I guess, reconfirming that availability day of. Um, which, you know, depending on the time zone becomes tricky too. if you're starting the release in, you know, say EU, um, yeah. and your Google build admin is trailing um, by several hours. So um, I think, you know, I, I agree to your point, you know, be continuing to be communicative, but um, we, I think we've run into problems in the past when you've tried to start a release too early, especially on the kind yeah, of like, on the on the the week boundaries, right? So either like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna tee something up over the weekend, so we're ready to go on Monday. So that's that's kind of like why one of our rules is like no Monday releases because we don't want any weekend work for folks. Um, yeah. And then same is true for the back part of the week. We don't want to we we don't want a Friday release so that people are leaning into their weekends. Um, so I don't know the answer outside of continuing to communicate. Yeah, I think it's communication. I would say that um, because this past one, uh, I think Navarun even started it very early, like in India time. So um, we even had a lot of time and it still got delayed. Um, and I, as I said, it's no one's fault. Like um, I have been there many times, but what can we do since this has been happening sort of often and in fairness to the Google build ad admin is just one person in one time zone. And the rest of us, we sometimes like, as I said, like never starts and then market continues. And then whoever is in American time zones goes on, et cetera. But anyway, right. I'm ranting now, uh, Marco. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, I wanted to add a few things to this. Uh, so first of all, uh, you brought up some really good points and I would like to elaborate on them, especially the promo tools part, because this is something this is super important for the upcoming RC0 release cut. It's something that we have to take care of is that um, we had a few of problems uh, in, for the last two patch releases. Uh, you, may see, you may saw that uh, we had promo runs failed, uh, mostly due to reason for rate limits. And uh, this is something that 
usually slows down the release process and the reason why we usually have to delay. Uh, like the majority of reasons why we actually delayed releases was because of promotion. Um, that being said, uh, we will, I will follow up with CC with Ben and Arno from CK Sinfra to make sure that we take some steps so that we have okay promotion and okay release for RC1, for RC0, sorry. Um, but this is generally where the biggest problem is. Like, this is something that is going to be a bit harder to solve because we are uh, at a time where we might need to refactor promotions. And this might need to be a bigger refactor because uh, when we created promo tools, we promoted our images from staging to like three registries. It was uh, US, uh, Europe, and Asia uh, GCRs. But now mm -hmm. we and only single our... and only single registries. Yeah, and now we promote to artifact registry, which is like forty registries or something like that. Additionally, we are doing sync to uh, S3 buckets. Luckily, not by promotion tools, but something to keep in mind. Uh, and we also have issues. We started the countering issues that promotion is not always reliable because if you saw in release management from Ben Elder, we had some cases where hashes uh, uh, and tags were not correct at all. And this is something that should be handled in promotors as well, because yeah, this is going to be quite problematic. And we also had stuff like signing and all that six door stuff that we need, uh, but this made everything sober and everything made quite a lot error prone. So this is something that we yeah. really have to see. Uh, but, yeah, I would just, so... Go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, go for it. Yeah, I would just add that uh, releasing a day earlier that was proposed with build is something that is also complicated because we might end up in a, a situation that we release some artifacts a day early, like if promotion goes through, then we released uh, images, but we didn't release the tag or we didn't release binaries and uh, packages. So this is also not the ideal situation. But I also understand them that is, this is something that is hard to plan and that we often can't really estimate how much we need to delay and stuff like that. So I, you know, I, I had mentioned this, uh, Marco, you're like the, the, the point that I was, I was right about to make was, was, was exactly what you said. Um, I'd mentioned this in the past that the promotion to multiple registries should be a trailing action um, because it, it, it dramatically increases our release time. Um, we need to step back and you know uh, and look at the times that it's taking through every stage of the process and see what we can do to cut that down um, because our releases should not take two days. Like this is, I'm not going to say that Kubernetes is not complicated. Um, like as a project, we are we are very complicated. Um, you know, as a the flagship CNCF project, we are one of the more complex. Um, but I it. Release wise, I don't think we're two days complex. I think I think it it has, and and I don't think we're even the amount of time that we're taking today complex. Um, so we need to step back and and really evaluate what uh you know what's happening, right? I think you know for for some consumers, um, the 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 shipping of a tag is effectively the release for some consumers they don't necessarily care about the binaries um for some consumers they absolutely do that's the only way they can consume kubernetes i think it, it's going to become a really interesting conversation if you layer in um the the other conversations with kate's infra around cost of uh cost of images where they're they're hosted how long they're going to be hosted for etc cetera, etc cetera, right um there, there there's been a conversation around kind of like the the um uh, what is the community's uh, what, what is the community's obligation for support? Um, and and that's definitely a longer conversation. I think we have you know I, I think you know in terms of uh, supporting releases, um, just the the theory of the release. Um, we have stated what we have stated in our support uh, you know in our, in our support uh, policies, but from the I think from the infrastructure perspective, it'll it, it will be an interesting conversation in the next few months about what we can and should do um, in terms of producing uh, artifacts. And 
um, that will, I, I think that conversation may naturally change um, the time it takes to release. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure who is joining us in Amsterdam, but maybe it would be nice to start this conversation around Contributor Summit and to see if we can uh, collaborate together with CK at Simfer, because I know that Ben Elder has some ideas about how we can improve this. And maybe we can try to sit together and see if uh, this is something to come up with some idea for a, for a proposal. And then after KubeCon to try to write down the proposal and slowly start that journey on refactoring promo tools. Yeah, and I, and I think you know to to be clear, I think you know the we we've had some of this discussion in the past, and I think that some of the pieces are in place to to do so. I think it's the decision to to publish to so many registries um, simultaneously instead of letting that be a like if we say when Kubernetes cuts a release, expect this these set of art these sets of artifacts to be available, and that artifact may be just the tag on git right and anything else is a trailing is a trailing action right um or we say these are our these are our core registries right and you can expect when a kubernetes release comes out when we announce that the kubernetes release is out these are the artifacts that will be available you can check back later for you know registry registry uh three through 40 kind of kind of thing right um, we we have to decide a, a way to kind of kind of strip down the release time because um, per registry is, is is definitely going to add to it, especially if we want to add more in the future. So, um, I do have to drop, unfortunately. Um, so I will catch you all later. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> I was not. Um... We're seeing this discussion, but yeah, definitely important. Uh, probably it's worth uh, taking it uh, uh, to the next meeting uh, with more people and, and proposing it as an agenda topic. Um, but thank you, Marco. All of that is very important. I, I just dropped that topic uh, uh, thinking that it would just be um, something simple <laughs> to discuss, but yeah, it definitely has more context. Okay, um, this is anyone else? Yeah, I just want to add a, like a couple more uh, information on this topic. So um, I'm currently in the same team with um, Ben Elder, so I'm happy to chat uh, with him to see like if there is any like suggestions or improvement which we can uh, do from the SIG release side. And also things you mentioned like we, <coughs> like uh, uh, of course like uh, get early touch with like uh, see um, Google and me uh, build like a team. Uh, is 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 definitely needed currently because like we needed their help to um for the final release and everything. But I remember like there used to be a conversation um which <coughs> was going on uh, regarding with uh <coughs> like move like the the the, the work see Debian uh, build out and everything like uh, from like a Google internal to like uh, at least the same same have controlled um place so that we will remove those dependencies because currently like. Uh, they were helping because like they are kind of eternal tools or everything so they they are the only one who have like access but later maybe um yeah the i i do feel the long term solution would be like have those kind of area um into um at least the CNCF or kubernetes control so um <coughs> separated from like uh, um Google internal um yeah i do think that will be a long term um solution since like uh, um, there are really a limited kind of resources being there <laughs> to help. Yeah. So yeah, yeah totally. Right yeah. I, I have to say that uh, at least what I have seen uh, recently when people uh, pinging the Google build admins, they are fairly responsive. Uh, not like in the past, it, it has gotten better, uh, but it's more about them being available and us taking uh, more time than we expected. Um, it's just that, just that with all the context. But yeah, we, we, we can talk about it. But just I just wanted to bring this up for people to have awareness, like to, to start the day off, but earlier or I don't know, uh, every, every person will know what to do. 
anyway, um, are there any other topics that would you like to discuss? No? All right. Well, if that's all, uh, thank you for coming and I'll give you your time back <laughs> and see you next week. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.